All right, so you know the major scale, you've been working on the major scale, but it just isn't working for you. I'm in that group with you because it took me forever to figure out some of this stuff. How did you learn the major scale? Tell me below because I'm going to show you how I learned the major scale, which was right and wrong. We're going to be in the fifth position here, key of A, for no other reason than it's in the middle of the fretboard. That's it, okay? I'm going to be on the sixth string for no other reason other than that it gets me all th through all six strings with two full octaves starting a third technically, okay? But this is how I learned. Now, you, there's two different ways you could have learned the, the pattern. The notes are the same. Again, it took me a while to figure that out. It just didn't have to be one position. It could be several ways of playing it, right? This is how I did it. Um, all right. Great. What did I do with it after that? I don't know. I just kind of, okay. All right, play a solo over this, okay. How'd I do? All right, next time. That's really what it felt like at times, where it was like, all I'm doing is playing a scale, which I was, nothing behind it, okay? The other way you might have learned how to play the major scale, we're playing, you can hear it, it's the same notes, we're just playing it. We're just playing it differently. That made it even more confusing. So my advice is if you're kind of stuck in this hole of not knowing what to do, let's go through what these notes are because the notes are important, but the intervals are even more important because once you understand the intervals, you could pick this up and play it anywhere. Key of A. G. And B, you get it? I'm playing the same shape, we're just in a different key. That's all it is, because we're playing different notes. Let's go through this. So, in the major scale, the way this is broken down is that there are seven notes in the major scale. I think we might know that. If not, write it down. Seven notes, major scale. Got it. Your root, your second, your major third, your perfect fourth, perfect fifth, sixth, and your seventh, and then you repeat it by hitting the octave slash your root one more time, and it continues. So that's what you need to remember first. It's only seven notes, although it seems like this is more than seven. How many did we play? How many actually frets did we play here? You know, notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we got more. Couple wrong notes in there. We're okay. Um, deconstruct it. Let's go backwards now. We, we said it's only seven notes in the scale. All right. We went from octave to octave. Root. Second. Major third. Perfect fourth, perfect fifth, sixth, seventh. There's your scale, you're done. And your ear is trained to hear that next level being the next octave. Root, second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, sixth, seventh, back to the root. All right, what do we do now? Well, a couple things. Separate this from everything else. Only worry about that. Work on that. Let's go backwards. Oop. Same notes, just going backwards. So root, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So, see how easy some of this is becoming now when you start to hear it? Well, I know that that's my octave here, right? Because we just went through this. Get comfortable with this first part first. Well, if I know this is my root, that's a one. Let's just keep going, but let's count it differently. We're playing the same thing here. Just an octave higher now.
Does that make sense? Because, again, with me, I was so involved with just knowing and, and just kind of ripping. Cool. No, not cool, because I didn't know what I was doing. Break it down into two individual scales. I mean, I don't say individual scales, but an octave, separate octaves. Let's put it that way. There you go. That's a scale right there. A, A major. A major again. Okay? If we want to continue, you continue on. Okay? The intervals stay the same. So, remember the intervals. Major scale. Once you know the intervals for the major scale and any other scale, they're all different, but let's work on the major scale. Root. Second. Major third. Perfect fourth. Perfect fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Back to your root, the octave. You now have two different octaves you can play with. If I'm if I'm in the key of A, sounds a little more musical already. Instead of just flying up and down all six strings, let's do the same thing here now, but on the other octave. doing we're playing the notes in those scales I broke it apart that way you can start to see two separate octaves and not just one large jumble of dots basically so what we did is we took what we we know kind of and we split that apart once one octave of there of the uh, a major and get in the habit of playing the chord before and after uh, any type of scale. So A major. I can do it here. I can do it here. Let's do the other octave. Already becomes a little more musical because you're not just going from top to bottom, bottom to top, one after the other. Break it up a little bit. Start to envision those scales separately, those octaves, same scale. I know I keep saying different scales. It's still the A major scale, but we've got different octaves we're looking at here, okay? All right, that's one way to look at it. Now, when you get a little more comfortable, Memorizing, in particular, the pattern on the 6th, 5th, and 4th strings. Okay, if you know where there's another A root, you could just apply it there. I know there's one right here. So, it'll take some time, but break those scale, break that long scale apart into separate octaves to start seeing the scale differently and not just running through six strings, two or three notes per string, and, and, and not having any kind of melodic movement to it, you know. Even if I'm just playing with these three strings here, right? Sounds like a scale, because it is. But if I want to kind of just make it sound melodical, melodic, melodical, melodic. Know where your root is, know where your major third is, and know where that perfect fifth is. Those are great landing spots for, uh, even if you're playing the scale. Already it sounds a little more musical because you're targeting different notes. But if we just kind of work in that scale. So have some fun with that. Mix it up a little bit. Try different things. Um, and don't overthink it. Take what we did right here because you can do this with any scale. Um, you just got to break it apart differently. That's all. You know, just for the sake of argument, um, I don't mean to kind of throw a wrench here. A minor pentatonic, right? That's five notes, but at the same time, one, two, that's your scale. Repeats right there.
So you're already, you're breaking that apart into two separate octaves. And you go back and forth, do what you want to do. But this hopefully will get you out of that habit of just going. Sounds cool if you're doing scales, but when you're out there in, you know, in a gig situation and you're jamming with, with, with some people and they say, hey, we're playing a one, four, five, and A. Just kind of know where you need to be with some of this stuff. And then once you have an understanding of one key, um, you don't have to know the names of notes. Just know the intervals. And the intervals are what's going to be your roadmap to where you need to be. So we're going to do more of this. We'll break it down even further um, with maybe just the, the one, three, five, um, some progressions, and then break it down even to the, to the minor scale. Um, you know, as an example, the one, the three, and the five. That determines if it's going to be a major scale or a major chord or a minor chord. If I flatten that third, that my, that flattening of the third makes it minor. And we're going to go more into that. It's probably a lot of info right now. But concentrate on that A major in this position. Break it down into two octaves. See where it splits. Know that they're com completely two different worlds that you can bring together at any time because they're the same notes, same intervals. Give it a shot. I'll see you on the next one. There'll be more to come. Any requests or if you're unsure about something, let me know below. I will do my best to try to clarify some stuff, okay? Later.